welcome to this new video. Today I want to have a quick look in the newly published CRM ComfyUI custom notes. It's a quick way to generate textured 3D models from a single image. So far it is not available in the ComfyUI manager. You have to install it by hand. So you need to download it on the GitHub page. I will link it below in the description. A little bit tricky to get it running but nothing which is impossible. One downside is you really need a big GPU. In my tests, I used nearly all of my VRAM. I have a 4090 GTX 4090 and the process used almost 22 gigabyte, almost everything I have. So be aware of that. You can also use it with your CPU. If you don't have a GPU with the size of 24 gigabyte, you can also try the CPU uh, version of this workflow. So for now we use the CUDA version and afterwards I will do the CPU version. The results are quite interesting. I will guide you through the workflow. We have to separate the object from the background and then process it to different images which represent different sides of the object which will then later on be converted and combined to our 3D model. In my tests it was not as good as I hoped for but this is only the beginning and I'm quite sure this technique will improve over the time and uh, we will quickly have better results in the future. So far I didn't compare this to stable 0, 1, 2, 3, which is also a workflow to generate 3D models from images. I will make a tutorial on this as well so we can compare the results. I think in regards of the VRAM used they are almost identical. Both need lots of VRAM. I will guide you through the workflow from scratch. We are building it up step by step. Let's start right away. So let's start by loading the image. I take this little fella. First we need to uh, remove the background. I use a note from the ComfyUI Essentials pack. This note needs a RAM BG session. The model, I would say, stays like this. Now we need to pre-process the image and the mask to make it accessible to the further processing. So we need the CRM preprocessor for Poser. Connect the mask. And I think it would be great to have a preview. mask preview and let's have a look at the image as well so the CRM preprocessor simply combines the image and the mask and prepares it for further processing for the poser node which we will use next with the CRM poser config. I keep all those settings for now. After the CRM poser config, which gives uh, the settings for the later generation of the model, we need our different steps. We need the CRM pose sampler and we need the CCM sampler. The CRM post sampler will create six different views 
of our image front side view top view bottom view back view and so on which will later then used to generate the 3d model the ccm sampler will generate our normal map which will be combined with the side views of the object for the crm post sampler we need to choose the pixel diffusion model i will link the models in the description below and for the ccm sampler we need the ccm diffusion package now we need to connect the config as well let's give this a preview so that we can see what is generated there for this as well this will be generated later on now as a next step we need the actual crm modeler i use the cuda only version for now but later on we will use the cpu version as well we need the actual model keep this as crm pth i will link this in the description as well and let's see this is in the wrong port it needs to be the ccm sampler needs in to be in the coordinates and the pose sampler needs to go to the poses and then we can use this crm viewer preview as a safe node for our 3d model which is based on the 3js javascript game engine and i like how open source technologies come together here and um, use each other's know-how to benefit okay let's have a look i think we keep all those settings for now and should be able to generate something so let's give it a try so there we go I said I'm not 100% happy with the results, but uh, it's it's something and it's uh, really promising, I think. So here you can have a 3D view of the object and you can import it, for example, to Blender or something else. Also, it is usable in game engines or something like this. Let's try another one. Here you can see the first generated mask, then the image without background, and then the combined image and mask for further processing in the CRM poster config. And here you can see all the generated side views, and here you can see all the generated normal maps for every view, and after that everything gets combined to the model so let's create a last one so let's change everything for the cpu usage we need this crm modeler exchanged So let's give this a try. And here you go. So same result. So if you don't have a big enough GPU, you can try the CPU generation. Might take longer to generate. I will link everything in the description. Also the paper to the CRM approach. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.